You're watching Chewing the Cud. With my Benny Rowe and Lee Robertson. Welcome to the house, to the house of Holbein. No, it's not the house of Holbein, it's Chewing the Cud. Hello, everyone. How are you doing, Lee? I'm here. Are you, are you not well? I've, I think I've got long COVID, Mike. Oh. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's the but first time you've had anything long, though, isn't it? It is. Mm. But there's always a first time. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> so what have you got for us in the show business week? Having a Scooby-Doo. I've got a Scooby-Doo. Just stuff written down. I think, I think there's something about, yeah, stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> stuff and things. The return of a well-loved TV series, possibly. Okay. Something about Cher, quite probably. <laughs> That's Whoa. about it, really. <laughs> <laughs> See, COVID. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Compromised. <laughs> You'd be compromised for a while. But on screen now, you can see all of our contact information. Yep, it's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can also follow us. The Cud.tv is our website. And on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as people who have popped a comment on one of our posts on social media, their names trickle across the bottom of the screen. Let's go over to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> So Jay was covering for me last week. He was indeed. Because of my yes. personal issues. Yeah. Yes. Is it cleared up now? It, it, no. Still raw. It's still rashy. Ooh. Bit itchy. Oozy. Not not oozy though. Okay. Just rashy and itchy. Mm. Yeah. Um, but he talked about a, a man who was sent some some pants in the post. Small pants. Hmm. Okay. Well, I've got a follow up story to that. Same bloke. No, different person. Oh. Okay. Still ASOS. Oh. Okay. And this is a. A woman who's been mortified after she accidentally sends dirty pants back to ASOS. Accidentally. Accidentally. They're not the pants, though, are they? Those. Th those are not the pants. Like it's like a standard stock photo of a clean pair of pants. <laughs> they are a clean pair of pants <clears throat> at, the, at that time. Yes. Um, but basically, she decided to send some some items back, and in it, she sent dirty washing. Right. She realised when she was then going to do the washing and found all of the new clothes that she's supposed to returned. In the, the dirty washing pile. Did, uh, did ASOS get back to her and say, why have you sent us your skiddy knickers? <laughs> no, they didn't. They didn't. they didn't. They sent them straight on to somebody else. <laughs> Repackaged, sent out. I'll send them didn't to Didn't even repackage. Yeah. Just went, send those Different out label. To Barbara. She wants some skids in a nix. Um, okay. Um, do, we, do, we, do, we smell a, do we smell a rube here? A rube? A uh, rube. Uh, <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> a, a, a scam? Is she trying to scam them? She tried to scam them. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think she was trying to scam them, um, but she posted on TikTok that she actually sent back the brown knickers she'd been wearing that day to ASOS um, and got o over 110,000 views within 24 hours. Well, that says it all, doesn't it? Yes. I mean, if you, right. When I take off my soiled knickers at the end of the day... <laughs> Someone well, comes over in a hazmat suit <laughs> with a flamethrower. So I kick them and they splat against the wall. I don't just leave them there. I put them straight in the wash basket. Who are people that are just leaving their clothes around so that they just pick them up and fold them and go, oh, they've got... What? I don't understand how you can not differentiate between a pair of brand new knickers uh -huh. and a pair of yeasty sort of steamers that... <laughs> Maybe she doesn't have the same problems that you have. Maybe quite she's quite fresh. Yeah, but you would know when you pick something up that I don't believe it. I don't believe her either. No, I don't um, believe. Because, yes, what she referred to herself as a comedy creator and actor. Oh, hello. Carla Freeman. Um, accidentally made this and accidentally got 110,000 views on TikTok because of it. Well done, you. Yeah. So you, you said that when you get off... You get off when you take off you you try you and I get off and then take them off. Yes, yes. <laughs> you flick them and they slide against the wall. Yeah, mm. and then you pick them up. Do you pick Str them up? Well, sometimes I just say, "Go, get in the bin," and they then they literally crawl over themselves. <laughs> That's more like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, moving on from something I think is a scam, okay, to something that's happened that's that's been a bit naughty, and this is about a, a Met PCSO. Do you know what one of those is? That's something about police. It is a police person. Well done. Police constable officer. Special police constable. Yes. Okay. So. Not a real policeman then. No, they are real police. Are people. they? Yeah, they, they're they employed the, by. Are the... they not the pretend ones? <laughs> you can't pretend to be a policeman. That's a crime. No, they're like the like the ones that are not fully police. Like, like part time police. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've got the full skills. Just like half of the skills. Yes. 
<laughs> yes, or, or, or PCSOs, as they're called. Okay. Yes. Um, so, yes, this is a story about um, Kevin Phillips, who's admitted to an offence. Is he a PCO? A PCSO. PCSO. Yeah, and he's admitted to doing something illegal. Okay, is he right? cute? Have we got a picture? <laughs> he's not cute, but he has been caught having um, outside Rumpy Bumpy in his uniform. I'm, I'm assuming, uh -huh. this is perhaps very judgmental of me, that the, <laughs> the, the, the sex act in a London park is of the homosexual variety. Well, the 56-year-old admitted to... Uh, um, it's with squirrels, isn't it? Outraging public decency. And swans is <laughs> swans. <then. laughs> um, Hedgehogs. It, he was filmed in Dog Kennel Park in East Dulwich. Or Dulwich. Is it Dulwich, Dulwich or Dulwich? I don't know. I feel like I'm American by saying Dulwich. Um, and he's blamed his behaviour on stress and a medical condition. A medical condition that makes his pee pee get hard and he has to stick it in animals. We don't know about no, the animals. No, we don't. I'm making no, that up. Making that up. <laughs> to be fair, it couldn't get any worse, could it really? So, um, so what is his medical condition? It doesn't say. It doesn't it say. It doesn't say. Because there isn't one. <laughs> but stress is happens. Okay. Yeah. Stress um, often makes me want to go and bum people in, in parks. We don't know exactly what it was that he was up to in the park. Oh. But we know it was a lewd sexual act. Lewd. Lewd. I like, I like word, lewd. that word. <laughs> it's a good word, isn't it? It's like the word moist. It, mm. What? I prefer lewd. 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 Because if you stick an O at the end, it's a game. It is, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Ludo. Ludo. So, yes. we, so what? we don't know what it is he's done. No. And who he's done it with. No. But it was lewd. Um, but if, if you've got videos of people doing a lewd act in a park that isn't Lee, Please send it to us. We are at the Could TV on all your social media channels. And now that brings us nicely over to story of the week. Now don't get upset too much, Lee, because this is slightly celebrity based. Okay. A bit show busy. Okay. Kind of encroaching on your turf okay. a little bit. Okay. Have you ever been catfished? Actually, I have many years ago. Okay. At the dawn of time. Well, this is a story about um, an actor from Hollywood okay. who has been catfished. By his own dad. Yeah. Is this an icky story? So James Morosini, 31. Never heard of him. No, it, um, he's been in the um, HBO's The Sex Life of College Girls and American Horror Story Roommate. First one, not in my, my area of no, interest. No, no, no. Don't, I've heard of American Horror Story, Sexy College Frat Girls, whatever you, he was you said. <laughs> Two different shows. Okay. Yeah, um, there was HBO's The Sex Life of College Girls, okay, comma, and American Horror Story, um, Ronake or something. Okay. Yeah, um, but a handsome chap. Basically, he's estranged from his father, right? And his father decided he wanted to make contact with his son and saw him on dating profiles and basically set up a, a, a fake account. As a lady? As a lady. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> um, so they'd already decided to go to therapy okay. um, to like build a relationship sort of thing. And dad wanted Step. to get better. Um, he describes the moment he found out about the catfishing as hitting rock bottom in our relationship. Um, but it missed it's forced them to confront some of the fundamental so when problems. when his dad's wig fell off. <laughs> and he went, dad? They're now, they're now saying they've got a great relationship because of it. Yeah. Um, so we've got a picture of the dad and him in a younger, younger, younger time. Days. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this is then when they're all happy together. So that one doesn't look particularly happy. <laughs> yeah. He was like, "You're the son we didn't want." <laughs> you were the one we we sued the condom company over. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, but it was it wasn't as nice as so like just nice chat. There was sexting happening. You and see, that's weird. Yeah, it is and weird. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Oh yeah, we're, we're closer than ever. Yeah, I bet you are. You freaks. <laughs> it's that. No, I watch Catfish, the TV show. Uh huh. Never ends well. It doesn't end well. Never has, ends well. This is the happy ending. After his dad was sexting him, um, but it came to light that he re realized it was his dad when he was emailing and went, "Oh, wait, isn't that my dad's email address?" So yeah, mydaddy.com. <laughs> that, 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 that didn't give it away. Uh, uh, can my booby? Uh, no. 
<laughs> and on that bombshell of Lee's boobies, that's all for the buzz this week. Thanks for that, Mike. I'm going to catfish somebody today. Watch out. Pleasure as always. But next we've got Lee in the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Lee. I've got some good news. Well, oh, oh. good news for me because oh, okay. I quite enjoyed it. So That's Good news for you, you quite enjoyed it. Cakes going, half price. No, 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 no. Okay. Shady <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so did, you, did you watch I'm Just Like That? When it came back, the 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 kind of sort of like next chapter of Sex and the City. I started to. I fell out with it. Why? It was just a bit meh. Oh, uh -huh. well, you'd be sad because they're re renewing it for a second series. I'm not series. surprised. So, yeah. So the... Sarah Jessica Parker's probably paying for it herself. <laughs> she is director. Well, that's a oh, shock, yeah. isn't it? So, so, so they, the, the HBO have given the go-ahead for a second series of Just Like That. To, to have. Whenever, whenever, it's, this is going to really age me. Whenever I hear the name Just Like That, someone goes, Just Like That. Oh, is it not just and like just like that? Just like that. Um, yeah, there's a picture of it. It's not, and just like not, that. And just like that. Not not airbrushed in the slightest, any of them. Um, so yeah, so so she kind of like so when the when the first series ended, she there, there feels like a momentum for another go. Of course. So it does. yeah, so they've confirmed that Cynthia Nixon will return, Kristen Davis will return, Sarah Jessica Parker will return, executive producer Michael Patrick King will also return, mm -hmm. but they're not sure if they've teased enough to get Kim Cattrall back. So she was no. she wasn't in it, but her character was, was referenced. Was referenced. Yeah. She sent flowers when Big died. Spoiler if you haven't watched it. Um he's dead. Um on a Peloton. A Peloton. That's yeah. a kicker. After having a Peloton. Not only is spending a thousand pounds on a bike and then thirty quid a month to ride mm, it, you then have an heart attack on it. And then your wife comes home, finds you in the shower, just stares at you for ten minutes while you're going <laughs> So he's she, dead then, though, wasn't he? No, he was like looking at her. He was like going, uh, and was she's that, like just uh, looking at him. She could have phoned nine one one. He could have I was just uh, To be honest, I was like, oh no, big dead. Where's my wife? Yeah, well, so so it it wasn't without criticism because people kind of give it gave it a lot of flack for trying to be far too woke uh -huh. and kind of like shoehorning in sort of modern day characters that perhaps. Seemed a little bit. This this is yeah. a sort of like montage of the new characters that are in um, the show. So sort of like new friends. Mm -hmm. There's the the lady in the middle. Uh, second lady along is is Cher. She's not Cher or Shay. Shay, I think she was called. Shay. People didn't particularly like the fact that they felt that Miranda's relationship with her was kind of weird and rushed and shoehorned in and was a bit odd. Uh, um, I, I thought it was quite good. Did you? Cause, yeah, because that. You can have those kind of relationships that are like, sudden and intense and there, and you just have to have them there and then finger blasting in the bath. In the oh, I, that, I'm still traumatised by that. Have you never had a, a, a friend finger blast so himself in the kitchen while I'm pissing the bed? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, not necessarily pissing the bed, but have you never had a quickie in the kitchen while I was looking? No. I've not lived. No. No, I can't. I can't. I can't get over that. So, <laughs> so it's unclear whether those storylines will return. Okay. So they made Steve into this really bumbling old fart. That Steve was, kind was of a like... bumbling old fart. Oh, Even when he was young, he was a bumbling. Oh old no, fart. he was cute. He was cute, but he was a bumbling old fart. Oh. Oh, so also, sadly, during the making of the first series, um, Willie Garson, who played Stanford Blatch, died of cancer. Yeah. Um, so that that's really sad. Um, but yeah, it's it's all set to to have a new um, series. Um, this is the traumatic. This is this is the after she got finger blasted in the kitchen uh -huh. and Carrie had pissed herself. Well, she um, hadn't pissed herself. She'd pissed in the bottle and then spilled it on the bed. Oh, uh, so that yeah. was carelessness on Carrie's part. Well, part you know, if your friend's going in the kitchen, and she's supposed to be there looking after you. I, I can't start on this because it will go on for the, the rest of the... <laughs> what? Rest of the it's just, it just angered me. It's very, very you know, inconsiderate. I didn't say she was a good friend. You've had a hip replacement. She... You wake up from your operation. Huh? Where's my friend? Where's my friend to help me go for a week? Finger blasted in the bed. Finger blasted in the kitchen. Yeah. I didn't sign up for that. Don't put Miranda in it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's hope there's more finger blasting in the new... Yes, <laughs> In the new season, which we don't know when it's coming out. Okay. <coughs> Next bit of showbiz news. I go on about this all the time. Hocus Pocus 2. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. Why do you have to? Because I like it. Okay. How so, do you know you like it? It's not been out yet. I just know I will. I'm going to laugh. It's just so, a it has been... So the internet went a little bit mental because it was announced that three of the drag queens from Drag Race uh -huh. have been cast in Hocus Pocus 3. Okay. So we've got um, Cornbread, uh -huh. Ginger Minge, yep. and uh, Kimura Hall. I only know one of those. I don't really. I only know Ginger Minj. I don't know the other two. Um, but apparently, people on the internet just saw the picture and went ballistic. Going, it's not. Why should you, you can't replace them with drag queens? Well, they're not replacing them with drag queens. All right. They they've got a cameo in okay. the program. Just so appear. yeah. So if you remember in the first film, they had like this kind of like all the parents were at a, a party mm -hmm. and the witches came on and cast this dan amazing dancing. <sighs> So it's a similar kind of situation, okay. but those three drag queens are acting, uh, like doing a, a drag act of the Sanderson sisters. Right, okay. Um, so, you know, all the gays that got upset, calm down. It's not. Uh, we have a picture of on set, very blurry. Okay. Um, of, of, of kind of like the action taking place. No, you know, there's a lot of yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's stuff happening. So yeah, they they will be they will be kind of doing a um, like a montage thing. We're not really sure exactly. Okay. That is Hocus Pocus Two is coming to Disney Plus this coming fall. That's what they say. I don't have Disney Autumn. Plus. Autumn. Autumn. I may have to. The, this could be the poster for it, but we don't know. So you've just found a picture. Just found a picture yeah. that somebody's done and gone. Oh, I'm very excited about this. Yeah. I know you are. Mm. I think my excitement has been worn out by you being overly excited <laughs> by it. It's like I'm, I'm <coughs> now we will be covering it again, probably in August. Then again, sort of like September time. As long as August. Yeah, yeah. Well, we never know. Um, yeah, Next it, week on I'm, I'm worried that it's going to be cack. I bet it will be. And then I'll be sad. Mm. And I will laugh in your face. But then you know. So, do you ever sing words to songs and they're wrong? All the time. All the time. Have you not heard me singing um, the version of Frozen F*** at all? Yeah. <sighs> Don't give a shit anymore. F*** it all. F*** it all. Yeah. So, Katy Perry has, has said... At least rude words to songs. No, she hasn't. Uh, she said that everyone has been singing the lyrics to Firework wrong for the whole time that it's been in existence. You see, all I can ever think of when people sing a firework, it tends to be drunken people going, eh, eh, firework, eh, 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 firework, firework. Yeah, it tends to, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, apparently it's not uh, that. Uh. So apparently, she, talking to, because she's on The Voice America. Oh, that's nice for um, She was talking to one of the other co-hosts about it. Okay. And um, it, look, look, look at, I'm relevant. Here's a song from 15 years ago. 15 years ago. Well, there's a picture of her with, with the fireworks coming out of her chest. Okay. I always that's, thought it was a very shouty song. I, I think that's a very concern. So I the misheard lyric is, because baby, you're a firework, come on, show them what you're worth, make them go, oh, oh, oh. Okay. And apparently that is on the video, the lyrics, that's what it says. But apparently that's not true. Okay. So what she's saying is, is it's not up, 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 uh -huh. and it's not R, R, R. Uh -huh. It's or, or, or. Or. As in awe. As in, I'm awed by it. As in in yeah. awe or, or, or either or. Awesome. Awesome. So with, in awe. With, yeah, in awe. Yeah. Okay. So she was quite, she was like, get it right. It's not, it's not, and it's not fireworks. It's firework. Well, yeah, because it's a baby, it's you're a, a single. firework. I mean, how have we lived with this all, all these years without knowing? That that's what it is. I, when when I kissed a girl came out, that her first single. All oh, right, okay, not when you first. No, when it's that because that never happened. <laughs> no, exactly. um, oh no, you've got boobs. Oh no, <laughs> um, she, she. I thought when it goes, I kissed a girl and I liked it. The taste of her cherry chopstick. I thought it was like a gay. I thought it was like a lesbian thing. <laughs> right, okay. I thought cherry chopstick was like something down I there. I first first when I heard it, I thought it said I kissed a girl and her right tit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it could be that, I yeah. kissed a girl on her right tip. Yeah. yeah. And when somebody said, no, it's not cherry chopstick, it's cherry chapstick, it made so much more sense. <laughs> Which is also a euphemism. Is it? What is it? Is it? Human? Is it? I didn't know that. <gasps> I don't know. I've just made that up. Oh, you've made that up. But it works. It fits I just quite assumed nicely. that it was because she kissed her lips and then she'd put cherry chapstick on. Oh. But which lips? Mm -hmm. I think that's... I th <gasps> My world has been rocked. Yes. And if you write down the word orange backwards, it spells gullible. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Have you ever misheard other lyrics? There's that 90s dance song 
by is it Gaia? Gaia. Um, da, 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 she's got a trombolese. <laughs> no, she's got a strong <laughs> beliefs. Yeah, but that's what I thought it was trombolese. A trombolese. What? Trombolese. trombolese. I don't know. I thought it was like a crazy instrument from the nineties. <laughs> Got a trombolese. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> but it wasn't. I always thought it was getting on these. Oh, yeah, it could be. Yeah. What year have you ever heard apart from... I, I, I always... I, I purposefully change lyrics. Do you? Yeah. But not purpose, but by accident. I've been singing... I, I'm, you know Barbara Streisand's Woman in Love song? No. No, you do. You, if you heard it. I am a woman in love. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am. <coughs> I will make myself feel sick. I am I'm a woman in love. I will do anything. I thought she sang. It's a ride on a fair, but it's not. It's a right I defend. I, okay. And I quite like to imagine <coughs> Barbara Dreisen on a Ferris wheel. It's going round. Yeah. Well, Ferris wheels don't, they go up and down. They don't go round and round. They do. <laughs> the horses go up and down. That's not a Ferris wheel, that's a carousel. No, it's the same thing. No, it's not a Ferris wheel. Is You sit on in a, in a seat and it goes up and round, you go over and like that. You sure? Yeah, yeah. And the carousel is, is a spinny roundy, roundy, round. My world's completely rocked today. I don't know what's real <laughs> and what's not. Anyway, that's the end. <laughs> my only end, my friend. Well, that's a lyric for you. Well, thank you, Lee. Stick around. Coming up, we've got our game of the week. You're watching Chewy the Cud. This week we are playing the Gobby Game Show. So, Lee, I want you to embark on your homerific adventure to the special area. Okay. Just unplug if that's all right. I suppose that'll do. Game of the Week. All Lee needs to do is use his oral skills while he's got a restriction on his mouth hole. And then he's going to describe what he's got in front of him on a card. Are you ready, my love muffin? Yes. What have you got first, then? Okay. None of these make any sense. Oh. Just going to put it out That's there. difference to normal, then. Okay. Helican? No, no. Pecans are a little nut. Helicans are a little nut. No, forget the helicans. Pecans. Pecans. Heathens are a little nut. Beacons are a little nut. Little nut. Little nut. Little. Little. Ah. Small. Little. 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 Far away. Pelicans are a little nut. Oh, brittle nut. Yes. Oh, pelicans are a brittle nut. No, heathens. Heathens are a brittle nut. Yes. Okay. Got that right. Well done, you. I'm not going to, I refuse to be angered today. Okay. Um, Challenge but... accepted. <laughs> the last pets are pigs. Your breast pets are pigs? All right. All of that heart has rest. Not rest. Rest. Rest, rest. pegs. The last pets are pigs. Rest pegs are hits. No, you said it right the first time, that uh, heart and the rest of it. The rest pets are pigs. The west pegs are hits. Rest. First the rest, second the... Smelly donkey? As it's not getting angry, dude, for you, Lee. <laughs> I'm laughing at it, like I'm oh, embracing yeah. it. I'm You're embracing laughing. it today, are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's the last one, mate. It's just before they go on a happy rampage. I'll take it you, know, you give up on that one. I'm giving up on that one, yeah. Okay, yeah, right, okay. It was the best pets are pigs. Oh. Which you knew you were just doing it to annoy me, but that's I was doing that one to annoy you, yeah, because yeah. that was fun. Okay. Um, reeking weasels don't smile. <laughs> Indeed. Reeking. Weasels don't smile. <laughs> I've heard the word weeping weasel. 
Yes. <laughs> and that's a euphemism. <laughs> Is it? Has something dirty? <laughs> don't smile. They don't. They don't smile. They don't slime. Smile. Slime. Leaking easels don't smile. Smile. Weeping weasels don't slime. Not laughing now, are you? Weeping weasels don't smile. 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 Yes. Okay. Well done. Well done. Thanks. And <clears throat> frugal ninjas say napkins. Go again. Frugal ninjas save napkins. Napkins. <laughs> what was it about that last word that you liked? Hara ra hara ra hara hara. Frugal ninjas uh -huh. ninjas. That's obvious. Is it okay? Save napkins. Okay. Something about a cat. No. Look, there's no... Look! There's nothing about cat in that at all. Okay. Frugal ninjas uh -huh. save napkins. Okay. Purple vickers shave catkins. No, like... Okay. What was it? Frugal ninjas save napkins. I wasn't far off. No. Close enough. Could have had that one. <clears throat> Go on, then. let's get another one. Okay. Mm. Mm, dear. Oh, 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 that's sexy time. No. That's sexy time. Oh, oh, dear. They're all Not awful. If... Huh? Uh, uh, froggy. No. Hoggy, froggy, Scotland. That hurt, actually. I don't like it hurt. Hoggy, hoggy, froggy, swamp land. Soggy, soggy, something land. Hoggy, can't say. Froggy, is it, is it, swamp land. Soggy. Don't say, don't, don't say soggy, because it's not soggy. It sounds like you're saying and soggy. And you know it's not soggy. Because it was soggy. I, really don't know. I would say soggy, and it's not. Hoggy. With a uh, huh. Now that's a uh, uh. Like this. Soggy. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> uh, no, it isn't that. It isn't. So, say it again. Hoggy. Uh huh. Huh. Froggy. Swampland. Foggy. Yes. Fur. Yes. Swampland. Yeah. What is the middle word? Froggy. Soggy. It's not. Tadholes turn into. What do tadholes turn into? What are you saying there? <laughs> what, what do. Those stalls are just mushrooms, aren't they? <laughs> what do tadholes turn into? You just asked my, about my what hole? Tad, I'm gonna. Um. What was it? What was the answer? Foggy, froggy, swampland. Oh, I wasn't far off. Clearly, I was close. Okay. Rotten, a black hole. Rotten. That's personal, and you shouldn't yeah. be saying that on TV. I knew you'd pick that one up. Say I. Rotten, a black hole. Bottom. Why are you why are you bottom shaming me? Of a black hole. Was it about fisting? Or your house. No. 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 Bottom of a black hole. Oh, okay. I thought you yeah. called me a hoe. Okay, next time. No, it's so attractive watching you put that mouth space through. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because you lick it first. No. <laughs> okay. Do that again. Mm. Rail lover, right? Oh, for fuck's sake. Rail. Uh huh. Lover. 
Hey. Burns. Male vulva burns. Mine does, but not right now. <laughs> Leo, a Leo in the sea. Hunkback, Cern. A, a rail humpbacks and Killer. sperms. All varieties of. Killer sperm? No. Right, a rail. A rail? A rail. A rail. A rail. A rail. Rough a rail, yeah. <laughs> Lives in the sea. It's big. Uh, it can. It's, it's a harpoon, though. Not in New York, because that's not very nice. Uh, it's a harpoon, then. And eat them. Um, eat someone out in the sea? That's salty. <sighs> it's sit on the table there. Um, <laughs> you're not going to get it. sat there, obviously. You're not going to get it, are you? Uh, well, apparently not, because no. you're shouting at me. <laughs> Whale blubber burns. Ah, uh, awesome. Oh, well, off. you know. That's well, not far off at all. Okie dokie. Oh, I don't understand any of those. Let's try another. I like that. You don't understand them. <laughs> so I've got uh, no chance. Precious, precious rushy tailed hook. Precious Russian tailed. No. Precious, that was right. Rushy. 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 Uh, Rushy tailed hook. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, fuck off. I got that. That's just rushy tailed hook. Fuck. It's not a hook. That's just rushy tailed hook. I don't know. No, I don't know what you're saying. Precious bushy tailed pup. Why was Russian in there? <laughs> um, well, after. That's, I, can't, I can't say words after that, because after this break, we've got crafty queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we're going to find out why Lee has asked me to go into my shed and retrieve a hammer and hope it's not for euthanasia as we go over to Crafty Queens. Hello. We're going to do something from the Orient today. Something very traditional. Are you, are you ready for that? From the Orient. Oh, it's not mm. Chinese. Down the road. Yeah, we're going to be doing something called Hapazume. Oh, which, I love Hapazume. Do you like it? Really do you like do. it? Do you know what it is? No. Right. No, you don't. So Hapazome is leaf dyeing oh. in Japanese. It's a very, very, very old, 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 old Hello. traditional thing. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to pound some flowers. And I know you, you've pounded a few <laughs> flowers in your time, haven't you? No. You've had your flower pounded. That's more like it. Okay. Much. So in front, <laughs> in front of you, you have you have a <clears throat> a beautiful rendition of yourself. I've just got three sheets of paper here. Where's yours? It's, is this not it? Yes. No, well, turn it. Turn it over. Why? 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 Do I have a picture of me receiving oral pleasure? I don't, you see, I try. <laughs> I was very tired when I prepped this last night, and um, yeah, you went slightly wrong. I, I look like someone buried their face deep in my backside. <laughs> I mean, that's not an unpleasant thing. I know. I'm saying. Um, it's, it, uh, weirdly, that's always how I think of you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yes. Anyway, so um, we, what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, Carmen Miranda. That, that kind of like... I'm aware of her work. Big sort of like headdress with flowers and stuff. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is going to do that. Okay. So you so you have um, a selection of the finest um, petrol station flowers <laughs> that were half price um, yeah. on the turn um, that yeah. money can buy. Um, I've often seen a flower on the turn. I know. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to... So first of all, you're going to erase... So you, what you need to just nip the, the bloom off at the tip of the of the stalk. You don't want the green, the kind of stalky bit. 
Okay. Um, um, you, you can just do that with you. Just snip it off with your fingers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then arrange them um, face up. You can flatten them down a little bit. So, in in you're basically making a flowered headdress. Right, okay, so... So actually, no, I've got it slightly wrong. We don't want them face up. We want the flowers face down. Want them face down. Yeah, so that the petals are on the actual paper. Um... So yeah, so you can put, so place the flowers in any sort of design that you would like. Okay. Kind of creating a, a, a headdress type thing. I'm not exactly sure what variety of flowers these are. Are these chrysanthemums? Don't know what which ones. Carnations. Are I mean, I know that we've got some uh, gerbilus. Gerbilus. Some little green. I don't know. I'm I'm a tropical flower person. Oh, yeah, I thought you were more. I thought you were a flower person. No tropical flowers. Yeah. So my favourite flowers are birds of paradise. Oh, you fancy. Mm. You fancy you. Um, yeah, and kind of press them down a little bit <clears throat> until you have. I think I'm. I think I'm approaching orgasm. No, I'm approaching saturation. Yeah, yeah, the, of, of what I want to do. Uh, perhaps a white one there. As with all of these crafty queens, I have absolutely no idea if it'll work. That's about right. But that's the that is that's what people like, I think. Yeah, that's exactly what people like. They do, yeah. Incompetence. Incompetence. So, so have you have you have you created a head dress? I have given myself a sufficient amount of head. Okay, so now what you want to do is put a plain piece of paper over the flowers and smooth, kind of kind of press press the piece of paper down. Okay. Okay. Now you you have a hammer there, and now you you have to be careful because you are doing this on a glass topped table. Yeah. So that's that's the point. Don't do it on a glass topped table at home. I have a a meat tenderizer. Um, oh, so from your, from your meat cutlery. Yeah, place, like do you know what? This scissors. is older than me. That's impossible because it's made of wood. <laughs> I swear, this is older than me. My parents had this when they got married. Um, it's <laughs> hewn from the from the timbers of the cutty shark, sark, or something like that. Cutty shark. Cutty shark. Cutty shark. Cutty shark. <laughs> yeah. Shark. Um, many a meat. Tenderized this. Uh -huh. um, so what you're going to do is um, semi gently. Semi gently, right? Yeah, you're going to kind of just give give all those flowers a bit of a pounding. Okay. Poundy, poundy. Maybe quite loud. So. Well, I'm going to do gentle but with pressure. Gentle but with pressure. Yeah. Because that's how you deal with a flower. Yes. Ow. I've just pounded <laughs> my own roll finger. Roll. Now the idea is that the flower juices yeah. will excrete onto the paper. It's excreting flower juices. And create a kind of like a print of okay. itself. It's very delicate. Uh-huh. <laughs> Apparently, you can do this on clothes. Yeah. Um, your grandmother's face, that kind of stuff. Anything. Don't pound a flower into my grandmother's face. <laughs> Anything that's delicate, really. That. Uh, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to just end up with a mashed pile of flowers. Yeah, me too. This is not doing wonders for my hay fever either. To be. Oh dear. Oh no. Can you take a periton? Other antihistamines are available. Yes. Yes, I have already taken my antihistamines today. And I think I think that was it. Yeah. Okay. I think that, that. So let's take the take the paper off. Oh. Mm. Now, 
this should this should be the magic. So we should be able to remove the pounded flowers, uh -huh. and there should be. You see, I quite like how it looks now. Yeah, that is quite nice, but that's not that's the idea pretty. behind the thing. Let's let's. Oh. What? Where are you going? Um, we're going to remove the flowers. Okay. <laughs> so far, just a smudge. I'm going to try and take them off one by Oh. I don't think it worked, Mike. Oh, I think mine's worked quite well. Is it? See, mine looks so... Mine, mine's different. Mine's unusual. You, you, but you still got. You, you st <laughs> They've smashed onto the paper. They've infused All the themselves. shonky crap we have done in this segment. You say we've done. Well, you have made me do. It's better than a bowl made out of a bowl. D does your. Um... I don't think this is. I think this is worse than the bowl you made out of a bowl. I've just made greasy stains on a piece of paper. <laughs> you have. It's, uh, it's my speciality. Um, <laughs> Does your does your card have a message inside? I think mine has. What does mine say? Oh, look, mine says Lee is the best. What is, what does yours say, Mike? Open it up for the viewers to see. Mike says, I think that's time you wrap it up. No, come on. You know what's on it. Come on. It was it was somebody sent a very special message. I'm not reading it out. <sighs> that's because he knows it's true. Anyway, that is the end of this week's Crafty Queens. And remember, if you can't get any peen or any vagine, try this and be a Crafty Queen. Hey, at least there's some, some sort of history behind it. So, <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel... That that history was an, an accidental find. <laughs> it's like, that's why I was to a bit of paper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Japanese H&R. That's interesting. <laughs> what what we've made here, Lee, is 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 confetti Mulch. that's biodegradable. It is, yeah. I don't think, I don't, I don't, I don't think they were truthful. I think they probably used. Um, flowers like pansies, which have got a lot more pigment in the f the petals oh. than some pastel dried out little flowery things well give me a budget and we'll get some pansies otherwise you'll stick to chrysanthemums on the turn <laughs> stick to what is chrysanthemums i can't <laughs> say it. chrysanthemums can't... chrysanthemums chrysanthemums on the turn childhood nickname <laughs> oh well yes um that's almost the end of the show thankfully remember to join us on social media at the could tv our website is the could.tv and of course on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Don't. You can tidy that up.